Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. Three statements about Newton's law of gravitation are, it can be used to predict the motion of a satellite. It explains why gravity exists. It is used to derive the expression for gravitational potential energy. Okay, so first of all, what is this uh, Newton's law of gravitation? So Newton's law of gravitation is given as uh, F is equal to, just a moment please. Yeah, F is equal to capital G into the product of masses and the divided by the square of the distance between them. So this is the Newton's law of gravitation and definitely number one, it is correct. It, it, is, it can be used to predict the motion of a satellite. Now because with the help of this formula only, you are going to find the velocity, the orbital velocity of the satellite and the trajectory also. And this formula itself is used for all of the uh, astrophysics major leader near the near the earth okay so i can say that yes it is uh, used to predict the motion of a satellite now point number two it is ex it explains why gravity exists now this uh, becomes a little ambiguous i would say but let us go to point number three first it is used to derive the expression for gravitational potential energy well absolutely yes but I think uh, the derivation for gravitational potential energy is not given in our books uh, for IB. And um, this, there is a formula here that F is equal to minus du by dr. So this is u is the potential energy, r is the distance, and F is the force. So this uh, formula is applied on all kind of field forces, which include three kind of field forces, gravitational, electrostatic, and magnetic field so in all these fields we are able to apply these formulas to find gravitational force electric force or the magnetic force also it they can be found with the help of this so this is a general formula that is why we can say that yes uh, you 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 substitute f here and you integrate the equation to find the expression for potential energy and i can tell you the expression for potential energy in the case of gravitation is negative gmm by r so this is the general expression for gravitational potential energy at whatever distance the two bodies may be like you may you might be talking about jupiter and earth okay so it is minus gmm by r and it is always negative so definitely one and three are correct but now coming to the point number two it explains why gravity exists well my dear students the first of all like what was the question that Newton was ever pondering on like he was like as per uh, this is I don't I don't see that this is a real story though but yes there was an apple that 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 fall near Newton okay so definitely he was pondering over this thing that why it has fallen so he was actually talking about the gravity and the reason that he gave that why the gravity exists is he defined it he said that okay I'm not able to actually find a reason for it but I know that all of the masses are attracting each other. So the masses attract each other and the force is directly proportional to the product of masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. But why? Why the masses are attracting each other? It's still not known, isn't it? It's not known. Yes, sun is attracting earth. Why? And Newton gave his own theory that the masses attract each other just like that and he has not given the reasons for it but these formulas are fairly simple and fairly effective when it comes to the satellite motion or when it comes to the planetary motion around sun yes this is highly applicable but there are different kind of theories going on like one theory is given by newton another is given by einstein which which talks about the time space disorientation and the disorientation in that plane and according to that the gravity comes and then there is another theory that is coming up in modern science and that is the existence of a particle which is known as graviton and they say that gravity exists the masses attract each other why because they are exchanging a particle name named graviton and that graviton is being exchanged between two bodies so it means overall we do not know why gravity exists even today people are still confused so our answer is one and three so my dear students this is professor varun please subscribe to the youtube channel all the best